On this episode of Jeff City Biz Buzz, we're going inside J Street Vintage to see what we can find. Hi guys, it's Ashley Peterson here with the Ashley Peterson team at Remax, and today we are doing our ninth episode of Jeff City Biz Buzz, and I'm so excited for you all to meet Elizabeth Harlan, the owner of J Street Vintage. So thank you so much for being on the show, Elizabeth. Thanks for having me. You bet. So tell us a little bit about J Street Vintage. Um, tell us the background and uh, how you got into this business. Well, they opened up J Street Vintage in 2014, and in 2019 they were ready to retire, and I was a vendor here, so I was able to purchase the shop. So expand a little bit about the products that you offer here. We offer a little bit of everything. We have everything from primitive all the way up into funky 90s stuff, everything in between. The main floor is solely vintage and antiques. You have, our booths here have to have a antique to vintage ratio to, to meet the guidelines. And once we open up upstairs, that will be a little bit more, of, there'll be a little bit more room for some handmade items, some art, different things like that. Very cool. And how can you be a vendor at the store? How does that work? Well, you just come see me. Uh, we have a few different guidelines just to make sure that we stick with the the true J Street vintage that people have always known. Uh, we will be expanding, so I do have some availability for a few booths down here on the main floor, and then we'll be expanding upstairs, which will be all local artists. And then tell us a little bit about the photography studio. Yes, we do have a adorable little room that has some original architecture of the building, and it is available for photographers. You can rent it by the hour or for the whole day, so you can do your whole lineup of your little cute Christmas pop-ups and different things for the minis, and it's, it's just adorable. So we're booked up a little bit into January right now. Right. And I heard that you do an entrepreneurship kid yes, day. That, Can you expand on that's that? That's one of my favorite things. Yes, the first Saturday of every month, I open up the classroom space and they're able to come in and they can sell their vintage finds that they've been out junk in. They can sell items that they've made. They can sell anything that they think that there's a market for. How does somebody sign up for that? You can generally, the best would be to Facebook message me to reserve a spot. You can come in the store. You can call the store any which way. I'm, any, if a kid calls, I'll never turn them down. So, And there are a lot of antique stores out there. What makes yours different? Well, I like to think that we just have the best vendors. I think my vendors here at the store, they're so different that, and they're just, the staging. I, I go into other stores and I just, I love to look at the staging and how they take different pieces. And I think we really have a lot of good displays. Our merchandise is phenomenal. We have it set up where people can come in and they can teach classes. So we have had a, I refinish furniture. So I have taught people how to do some furniture refinishing or upcycling. I have ladies that have been teaching junk journaling, which is like, a modern form of scrapbooking. I have a new instructor coming in. She's going to teach how to make succulent wreaths and different succulent things and how to propagate them and all sorts of things. We have a jewelry maker and we have sewing classes. I make all of the events on Facebook so you can sign up, register, and pay if, if appropriate online. In our location, we're in the old Munichburg district, okay. so we've got Echo Lounge, we've got Central Dairy, I've got Maddie Grace across the street, we've got the record store. I mean, you can make a Saturday of just our little neighborhood. So I don't think many people can say that. Very neat. So can you tell me what is probably the most interesting thing mm -hmm. that's ever been sold in the store? Um, interesting things right now, I have a glass vase that was in its prior days a hand-blown glass urinal. Oh, nice. And I put it on some <laughs> barn wood and it's now a vase. <laughs> so you never know what you'll find here. <laughs> and you probably never know, you won't know what you're buying <laughs> no. if you're buying. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. not like a lot of people know these things. No, so. well, <laughs> it's some people come in and they're looking for the most unique things. Uh-huh. And I'm, I'm proud when I can say, go into that booth. You'll find it. <laughs> Very cool. So where are you guys physically located? We're at 615 Jefferson Street. We are behind Central Dairy, just down the hill from Echo Lounge. And if people want to find out more about your business online, where should they go? I would say Facebook. It's We have a really great Facebook, and I try and keep all of our events, our special openings. A lot of times, if it's a special holiday and it's not on our business hours, I will open up. So it's great to follow us on Facebook. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you. On this episode of Jeff City, <laughs> I don't know why I got all quiet. <laughs> if you'd like your local business to be featured on Jeff City Biz Buzz, then shoot me an email or click the link.